This course will help you plan, design, and create effective professional learning that will move your professional learning act efforts and activities away from the sit and get to the go and show. You'll notice that we're using the term professional learning, or PL, rather than professional development, or PD. Why is that? Groups like the Learning Forward, the Professional Learning Association, have made the shift from professional development to professional learning because they believe it is important for educators to take an active role in determining the content of their learning and how the learning occurs. We also believe that if educators take control and ownership of their learning, they'll then be able to model this type of professional learning to their colleagues and ultimately to the learners. We believe, since our primary goal is to help you use technology to enhance the learning environment, then as you become digital learners and leaders, it only makes sense that we focus on the learning. But it hasn't always been this way. I recall taking in one of my first PL sessions on active learning in the early 90s, in which along with everyone else in the session, we sat and listened to the expert talk about all the wonderful virtues of active learning. All the while this expert lectured on active learning, I couldn't help but wonder if it wouldn't be actually better to do some of the things that uh, he was suggesting. Towards the end of the session, I realized this wasn't working. I thought to myself, the only way this person could redeem themselves uh, was to end the session by stating, now go and do what I said, not what I just did. <clears throat> Going forward, um, I've been careful with my selection of PL sessions and made sure that in the description of the session, uh, there's some notion of a workshop or some sort of hands-on activity. Some of these sessions um, were a little bit better, uh, but taking everyone through a lockstep activity on a topic I really wasn't interested in didn't really help me. Um, it didn't help me to learn, nor was it allowing me to uh, help me if I follow along in the demonstration of the workshop at the end any better. I realized I still had to go back into my own context and figure out how things worked for myself. I'm still willing to check out PL opportunities, but I'm very quick to move on if they fall into the sit and get model of PL. A great deal has changed since the early 90s. The internet has exploded to become the ubiquitous network that many people can't imagine living without. Google, Facebook, and other social networking um, uh, sites, and especially YouTube, have changed the way we answer uh, many of the questions that we have. Despite all these amazing advances, PL has still predominantly fallen into the set and get model. I didn't like this model back in the 90s, and I don't see why we need to tolerate it in the 21st century. Whether it was Einstein, Mark Twain, Ben Franklin, whoever, stated the, this popular adage, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, but expecting different results. We just can't keep on using the sit and get model of PL and expect it to make a difference in people's lives. The TNTP Mirage Report, which you'll have a chance to review in this course, confirms the way we are doing PL just isn't working. The report reveals districts are making a massive investment in teacher improvement, uh, far larger than most people realize. But despite these efforts, most teachers do not appear to improve substantially from year to year. Even when teachers do improve, we're unable to link their growth to any particular development or any particular strategy. School systems are not helping teachers understand how to improve or even that they have the room to improve at all. We need to move on from the sit and get model to the go and show model, which we will also refer to in this course as the alternate PL. In this course, you'll not only be exploring the research that points to the key principles of effective PL, you'll be applying those principles to a PL strategy that you will create. Those five key principles include, number one, extend the duration of PL, not just to days, but to weeks and months. Number two, provide ongoing support for teachers during the duration of the implementation stage. Number three, use active application ideas, methodologies, strategies. Number four, use modeling, mentoring to support the new practice. And number five, use authentic projects. You'll be using the five key principles to create a moving presentation to convince your colleagues and administration that your organization needs to embrace the go and show or alternative PL model. In addition to creating the convincing presentation, you'll also be using those five key principles to create, and go, uh, create a go and show PL plan or strategy. You'll then take that plan and strategy and build it out and create all the resources you need to model go and show PL. 
we'll be using those same key principles in this course. And our goal is to model the type of PL and learning environment that we hope you will also create to help your colleagues create effective learning. It is our hope that you'll break the sit and get cycle of PL and help your organization take advantage of the go and show model of PL and make a difference.